Hi, how's it going? This is Resident Caller for YouTube, and I'm here with my second and final video tonight. A retrospective of two characters in one video. From 1897, it's Timothy Shaw, Tim Shaw, and Rachel Drummond. Um, well, the, Rachel's character and Tim's character. Rachel Drummond is played by Maggie Evans. Or sorry. Okay. Sorry, it's played by Catherine Lee Scott, who also played Maggie Evans. And Tim Shaw is played by the late Donald Briscoe. And what you have here is these two characters, it, you know, when I think of the word fate, fate dealt these two characters one of the most saddest especially Rachel really too saddest hands I, I think ever in Dark Shadows I think I would dare say Rachel's story rivals Josette's in, in, in every way imaginable um, keep in mind Rachel Drummond is is was raised in an orphanage her uncle you know dies I think and or her aunt and her, un or her uncle, one or the other, I forget. So, if you, if you correct me, please do. Um, and she gets put in the, um, the school, the trash school, and Worthington Hall. And during that time, you know, her, that's when her, I think her aunt and her uncle die, and, you know, Gregory Trask tells her, you know, that their death wasn't enough to cover their, or cover her money, and Tim himself, I mean, he has really, you know, he doesn't, he has nowhere to go ultimately either, and I mean, they were really close friends, were they in love with one another? I think, I think Rachel did really care for Tim a lot, and I think Tim really cared for Rachel. I think they they would have found love if life had not dealt them one of the biggest curveballs ever. And I want to point something out. A fellow YouTuber friend, Mark Gilman, shout out to him. He pointed this out. You know, was was there suggestions of Gregory Trask possibly molesting? Rachel Drummond um yeah I think that is there I think when you Gregory body language says a lot Mark's right body language says a lot about a character especially two characters when they're interacting with one another so I think that yes that Trask was molesting not just Rachel but probably all the girls of her age in, in that found in that in the Worthington Hall School, and Minerva just probably didn't notice. I mean, he always favored women. Now, he favored women with money, but I think he was, he also favored younger women as well, as we see with Amanda Harris. <laughs> That's a dirty, dirty man right there. <laughs> but, uh, it's crazy, right, to think that Rachel, Rachel and Tim escaped, finally. But in the process of escaping, Tim, somebody is killed. And they they say, Tim thinks he only knocked him out. And I do believe Tim, that, I do believe Tim, that Tim only knocked him out. And so Timothy Shaw and Rachel, they leave. They don't look back. Well, during that time... You know, time passes, and Rachel Drummond, obviously, she becomes, she loves to educate kids, so she becomes a governess to uh, Jameson and, and I forget the girl's name, but the other, the other girl, the, the girl who, um, oh my god, I cannot think of the actress or the character, I'm awful. <laughs> Please help me if you guys remember. I'm sure you guys will more than I will. But there are two kids she comes to work with. 
instead of just one. So that's something that's really interesting to me that Rachel comes there, comes to Collinwood to work with the two kids. And at Nora Collins, Nora, so Jameson and Nora. And, but it turns out that Worthington Hall was contacted. Now she knew a school was contacted, she didn't know which one. Uh, Rachel then soon learns once Reverend Trash, uh, once Reverend Trash's daughter Charity shows up and she's like, oh God, not these people. <laughs> and you could really see, you could, she's not so much afraid of Charity, she's more afraid of, of Gregory Trask. And, you know, just the, the creepy, eerie vibes you do get. And I, I credit Mark for noticing this. Yeah, but it's there. There's definitely something there. Rachel's death at the hands of, obviously, you know, Judith Collins is sad. Not that Judith meant to do it. She was under the spell of Dirk, who was a vampire. Um, it, it's... Rachel's life and death are just all time sad. Tim Shaw is really interesting. I think Tim Shaw really wanted to avenge Rachel in every way, and the mo he he does help brick up Gregory Trask in Quentin's room. I mean that's that's whose body is in Quentin's room, and. I think, was that a fitting end for Gregory? Well, think of how many people Gregory really imprisoned. Wasn't it fitting that he himself have his own personal prison? I think that was really a fitting end to him. Um, cruel, you know, it was as cruel as he was, really. Um, and Tim finally got to have that... You know, obviously Gregory didn't go to prison, but again, he, he went to his own kind of prison because Judith, Judith and him set it up. So, we're talking about Tim Shaw, who wanted Amanda Harris's help. He wanted... I think he always felt sorry for what happened to Rachel... I think he partially, I don't think he blamed himself, but I think he, he wished he could have did something about it, uh, you know, not to make sure that she didn't die, and I think you could always sense that in Donald Briscoe, the way he brought out Tim's emotions, I think he did a fabulous job, I like how he was, uh, Tim was very vengeful, this, this was not... Chris Jennings, this was a completely different character, which I love. Again, anytime an actor shows that kind of range, it's amazing. Um, another thing is, you know, we all know Tim Shaw is going to be, like, the grandfather of Sebastian Shaw, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is really interesting. Um, Tim, Tim and Rachel's life, is one of those you go, man, you wish, you wish Rachel and Tim would have got together, but they, they don't, they don't end up, really both characters don't end up happily ever after, what you, what you wanted out of those two characters, or if those, if there are any two characters you were rooting for, Dark Shadows, it, it was, it was Tim Shaw and Rachel Drummond, I mean, just, And here's what I find interesting, too. I think Tim... It really, Tim could have ran Worthington Hall. Tim was a... Tim, Tim and Rachel were great teachers. If, if Gregory Trask is removed from the picture, I don't think it's as bad with Minerva. Now, she was strict, sure, but I don't think she was to the point of cruel. Um, at least in my opinion. <laughs> so... And even charity, to a degree, I think, helped the kids. But again, sticking to Tim and Rachel, I think they really they loved working with the kids. They just did not love who was running Worthington Hall, and that was Gregory Trask, because there was a deeper, darker uh, feel with that man. And 
man, you want to talk about just... I got darkness in one character, and you have two characters who just are searching for hope. And, unfortunately, Rachel gets killed. Now, Timothy, Tim doesn't get killed, but I think Tim thinks about... And to, you know, up until the moment he's he's bricking up Trask, he's thinking about that moment where, man, the hell this guy not just put me through, but through with every kid he put through, he put through hell, literal, emotional hell. I hope you guys enjoyed this retrospective. I'm sorry it's not as long as I usually get. Let me know you guys' thoughts on Tim Shaw and Rachel Drummond. Huge shout out to Mark Gilman. Huge shout out to you guys, all of you. You guys are just super awesome. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And obviously, I've got more Dark Shadows videos to do this month. Dan Curtis's birthday is on the 12th. <laughs> so, you guys have a good one.